Well, I say, my poetry not good enough, is it? All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. That's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. again, eh? Sorry, apprentice. This area's off limits to sprats like you. There's a nasty infestation of beetles. You'll only learn from experience, boy. Go and kill those beetles in the woods. Are well, you sure you don't want to back out? Nothing wrong with being a coward, you know. <laughs> you can't expect to train as a hero if you can't deal with a few insects. Let's see what this is all about. Careful. You never know what might happen. The log is in the woods. Go and kill those beetles. I'm keeping you under surveillance. your stick. Put some effort into it. If I stay down here another day, I'll lose my friggin' mind. You haven't killed all the beetles yet. I don't think we've got them all yet. I've got your back! The 
just won't give up, will they? Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Nice work. That should make the woods safer a little longer. This patrol is boring. Nothing ever happens. Best keep your distance, mate. Are you out of your mind? Oh. Come on, before it's too late. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Huh. A young apprentice, eh? <laughs> A lovely little lad, aren't you? Late again? You do seem to have a problem getting up, lad. Let us commence, then. <laughs> 